Welcome back. Today I am going to talk about cream cheese, topping, walling, cheesecake. It is absolutely all over the place these days and to think that it has been there for the last six, seven years and still very much popular. I don't see any signs of it dying anytime soon. So make sure you are in trend and continue to watch this video clip. Six, seven years ago, I started seeing cheesecake, cream cheese, toppings and wallings in the marketplace and I thought I should give it a try. I tried it once with a milk tea and I was like, what's the hype? It's absolutely disgusting. Milky drink there and then you still put cream cheese on top. I didn't like it. But then I tried it with just non-milk drinks like my regular green tea, my regular game matcha tea, matcha tea and it was perfectly delicious. So I was completely converted and I had a series of cream cheese drinks in my book All Things Milk Tea and also on this channel. Today I am going to recreate my cream cheese foam just to make sure you still know how to make them and this time I'm going to give you an alternative ingredient to whipping cream. Why not use whipping cream? It is because in some places they're very expensive, it's not easily accessible and also it is very thick. So instead of whipping cream this time I am going to adjust my recipe to use an all-purpose cream. So cream cheese using an all-purpose cream. I am going to use cream cheese. This is really the star of the show. I'm using here Philadelphia cream cheese. You can use any brand. And then I'm going to add sugar to sweeten the mixture. And just to make sure that the flavor is enhanced I'm going to add some rock salt. So it is going to be rock salt cream cheese topping. For the equipment, all I need would be a handheld mixer. And at the end of this clip, I am going to try my cream cheese topping with my favorite green tea. It is called Reese's Luxurious Tea Blend. Well, it's just green tea. Let's start by using a chilled bowl here, just to make sure that I get that creamy texture. I'm going to start with my cream cheese into the bowl. And just to make sure that I get it um, completely mixed with my cream. I'm just going to use the back of the spoon to mash my cream cheese. Make sure your cream cheese is softened. Okay, and to this I'm going to add my all-purpose cream. Okay, all of it. Shake well before using this. Then I'm just going to stir them in. Just make sure that I get everything in. But I'm going to add my sugar there and also my sea salt. Just dump everything in. Let's take a look at the texture. The texture of your cream cheese foam should be creamy enough and airy enough so that it floats on top of your drink. It shouldn't be too thick. If your all-purpose cream is very thick, I would suggest that you add some milk into it and to make it a little bit more runny. But for this texture, I'm happy with it. So for easy application, I'm going to move it into a pitcher with a spout and then this is how I'm going to dispense it and pour it into my drink. So you can see the texture. If you see some bits there of cream cheese, that is perfectly fine. If there are no bits, I get nervous. It means that your cream cheese was probably made from powder. Now I have my delicious cream cheese foam here. Before I try this on my drink, I would like to taste it first. Mmm. I can murder this whole bowl, but I suppose I shouldn't. So I started with 250 ml of my old purpose cream, 100 grams of my cream cheese, and I came up with a thicker one here. This is over 500 ml. It's time for the moment of truth. We are going to try this in my drink. Now I'm going to make a very simple drink here. I'm just going to make my green tea as base. No, no frills, no sugar, nothing. So I'm just going to pour my hot tea into my glass of ice here and to be honest this is how I prefer to have my cream cheese foam with just 
plain tea. Okay, so now I'm going to pour my cream cheese on top. Okay, there you go, my green tea cream cheese. Mm. That is absolutely perfect. So what happens is that it made my plain green tea a little bit richer. Well, probably not a little bit, it's a lot richer and it gives it a little bit of that sweet, salty taste to it and that cheese. Absolutely amazing. Something that you should be able to offer in your shop. So if you're offering fruit tea in your shop at the moment, you can make it better and also more interesting by adding cream cheese foam on top. Makes it a lot more luxurious. Absolutely delicious. If you refrigerate this, it's going to thicken a lot more. So if you'd like it to be a bit more runny, you can add half a cup of milk to make it more diluted, but um, go easy on that. You'd still like the taste of the cream cheese to come out, the cream and the cheese to be perfectly blended together. The proportion that I showed you here today can be multiplied for as many times as you like, depending on how much you want to make in a day. You can keep this refrigerated for up to three days. Here's a bonus drink. I made lemon peach black tea, and I'm going to pour my cream cheese foam on top. In my next video upload, I'm going to show you how much cream cheese foam do you need to put in each of your cups. Should you put so much or should you put less? What is the perfect balance between the drink and the cream cheese foam? Stay tuned. That's all I would like to share with you today. I'll see you again for more of these video tutorials. In the meantime, click that subscribe button, check out my books, All Things Milk Tea, come to Bangkok for my workshops and see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.